Ultra Goku and Ultra Vegeta join forces to defeat the true Saiyan God Banzerot of Universe 14 and Zaki, the mysterious God of Universe 14. Earth At the time when Goku alongside Vegeta was fighting Banzerot, the supreme Saiyan God of Universe 18. It looked like things couldn't get any worse as Goku was already depleted of energy. Goku was serving as support while he was recovering his energy. Vegeta had shown that he had mastered Ultra Ego combined with Ultra Instinct. However, to the surprise of the two Saiyans from Universe 7, when Banzerot was leading the fight against the two. An unexpected and unknown being until then for Goku and Vegeta appears. At that moment, we see that Zaki, the god of destruction of Universe 14 appears. Universe 14's supreme god of destruction brought even more fear than Banzerot himself to those who saw it. Banzerot looks at Zaki and says, What are you doing here? I said I'd sort it all out. You know very well that I don't like interruptions, or do you want to be destroyed as well? Zaki starts laughing and says, Destroyed by you? Don't make me laugh, Banzerot. <laughs> Are you kidding? Or are you having a hard time fighting these guys? You must be getting rusty, though I never expected much from you. You've always had several and diverse problems in battles. You've never been one to obey orders. Surely, you must have already drawn up some plan and thinking what to do with these two. If I know you well, Banzerot. <laughs> You know very well how this works, don't you, Banzerot? Banzerot for a certain moment starts to lose his patience, but soon after, he starts to laugh and says, As always, you're pretty cocky. The one who ran away from his entire race because he was a hybrid. That's why he thinks he's stronger than anyone. <laughs> know that the purebred Saiyans have the most potential. <laughs> I will still settle accounts with you one day, Zaki, and you will regret all the offenses you have already done to me. But in the meantime, let's not let ourselves get out of focus. Since you are here, know that we have a goal to accomplish according to the orders from the Mother of Angels. At that moment, Goku and Vegeta are watching. Vegeta says, Hybrid, what's this guy talking about? Is he a... Uh at that moment, we can see that Banzerot knew everything about Zaki. What is Zaki hiding? At that moment, Zaki says, You talk too much, Banzerot. I will show you how things work and how to act. At that instant, Zaki launches directly at Vegeta and launches Vegeta into the mountain rubble with just the pressure of his punch. Zaki's fighting style is totally different from Banzerot's style. Banzerot fights emphasizing brute strength, but Zaki in addition to having superhuman strength, he can also concentrate great magical energy. Vegeta says, Who is this guy? He arrived here interrupting the battle, and he arrived attacking me without even knowing my skills. He attacked me as if he was sure he was going to defeat me. This guy's dangerous. Still, what did this Saiyan god Banzerot mean by referring to this Zaki as a hybrid? Is he also a type of Saiyan? That dark skin and those purple marks on your body, what could be the meaning? We can't let our guard down for these guys. I can't understand it. Damn, we need to resolve this situation. You need to have a north of what to do. Kakarot, listen to me. These guys are very powerful. Maybe the best choice we have would be to combine our powers. Goku looks at Vegeta and says, Vegeta, you who are opting for fusion, this is a sign that you recognize the supremacy of the enemy is not it. It's not possible. How do you think we are going to handle this situation? Anyway, it doesn't matter. We need to put together a strategy and combine our powers. At that moment, Goku had already recovered most of his powers. Goku activates his Ultra Instinct transformation again and tries to charge directly at Banzerot. Banzerot, you will fight with me. In a few moments, Zaki appears in front of Goku and says, You must be mistaken. The two of us will finish you, son Goku. 
Panzerot gets mad and says, I refuse to fight with you against just one Saiyan. Who do you think I am, Zaki? At that moment, Zaki receives a full blow to his face and is thrown away. At that moment, Vegeta says, You didn't think you could defeat the Prince of Saiyans with just one blow, did you? Zaki starts to laugh and responds, Interesting. I had no idea that in Universe 7 there were such powerful warriors in these universes. Why did the Mother of Angels emphasize Son Goku so much? What's her real plan? I will look into it. We should have gathered more information about Vegeta. <laughs> this guy's amazing. <laughs> Let's start. Alright my partner, why don't you whack that like button and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any videos and stay well connected to our entire universe of Z warriors. Let's get back to the point. At that moment, Goku and Vegeta begin to combine their powers while Goku fights directly against Panzerot. Vegeta exchanged punches with Zaki, making the Supreme God of Universe 14 take distance from Goku and Panzerot. Vegeta starts gearing up an oddity in the battle against Zaki and says, It is not possible. This energy that this guy's raising is very similar to the energy of a Saiyan. There is something strange going on here. Did Mr. Beerus forget to tell us about the existence of Saiyans in other universes other than Universe 6 and 7? What's weirder is that this guy doesn't just seem to have the energy of a Saiyan. Does he seem to have the powers of some other race? Is that possible? No, it can't be. Zaki watches, smiling, and he says, <laughs> What are you looking at, Universe 7 Saiyan? I came here to capture Son Goku, but from what I understand, the information that was passed to me, there are extremely powerful beings here in this universe. You mean there are more Saiyans besides you and Son Goku? Perhaps the Mother of Angels would be glad to know about these issues. You, if I'm not mistaken, are as powerful as Goku, or maybe a little inferior. At that moment, Vegeta says, How dare you say that I'm inferior to Kakarot's good for nothing? Know that I am the strongest Saiyan. I am the great Vegeta. Vegeta prepares a final flash for Zaki. At that moment, Vegeta raises his power even more. Zaki holds Vegeta's final flash and shortly after, Vegeta teleports and lands several punches on Zaki. Zaki starts to laugh and says, Amazing. Banzerot dodges all of Goku's punches and says, You weren't able to defeat me once already. Do you want to do something now? At that moment, Banzerot hears Zaki's voice speaking through telepathy. Zaki says, Maybe it would be interesting for us to check the other Saiyans here. I think we can gather more information for the next universes we conquer. At that instant, we can see that after Banzerot received the information from Zaki, Banzerot starts laughing and he says, Haha, <laughs> this will be perfect. Goku and Vegeta no longer knew what to do in the battle and needed to save their energy for the next fights they would have. At that moment, Goku activates a Taioken directly on Banzerot and Zaki's face, who are blind for a few minutes. At that moment, Goku and Vegeta perform the Metomoru fusion dance. The moment when Goku and Vegeta would complete the fusion, a great light appears over Goku's and Vegeta's body. Zaki and Banzerot start watching and laughing. Banzerot said, you didn't think that such a pathetic technique would really make us not be able to see, did you? <laughs> I would love to know the result of your power, but unfortunately, it will not happen. If you manage to survive this experience, perhaps we will meet again. Reversal Technique, Universal Throw Zaki says, Infinite Destruction, Planetary Attack distortion of reality and creation of untruths. At that moment, the light that appears over the body of Goku and Vegeta makes Goku and Vegeta disappear from the earth. In an unknown location, Goku says, What's going on, Vegeta? At that moment, Goku and Vegeta are hurled straight into an unknown galaxy. Goku says, What did they do? 
Where are we? In a few moments, a presence appears in front of Goku. A woman with bluish skin, no hair and thorns on her head. Goku questions himself. Who are you? Vegeta looks on seriously and says, Kakarot, we need to be careful. It seems that we fell into the enemy's trap. At that moment, the blue-skinned being reveals herself to be the angel of Universe 18, Shiva. Shiva says, It seems that Banzerot wanted to send the two directly to have a talk with me. If Banzerot did that, it's because he didn't want to waste any more time fighting you. Maybe he is interested in seeing the other Saiyans, but rest assured, there is a possibility that you can get out of here. You just have to defeat me. <laughs> I, the bloody angel, Shiva. <laughs> to be continued, it seems that now things have become even more complicated. Goku and Vegeta will have to fight Shiva. What will happen? Regardless of what it is, it's more than important that you share your thoughts in the comments below so we can get into a crazy debate. Whack that like button and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any videos. That's all there is to it. I'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye.